Is equality a myth or an illusion eliminated by our vanity? Okay, let's study it with an example. Mr. A, Mr. C and Mr. B received a lunch parcel. They utilized an equalizer to divide it equally for them to eat. It divides it according to their needs, not according to their wants. It implies equality is not a physical concept. In essence, this is what equality means. That is, it is equality. Let us see another example. Mr. A has three cars. Mr. B has one, but Mr. C used public transport. Cars are means of transportation and they need it for their business activities. If public transport is comfortable and within the reach of every individual, there is equity. By owning three cars, he is creating indirect employment to others. It also contributes indirectly in reducing overcrowding in public transport. Equality is not a virtue of humanity, but equal, equity is and it is universal. When there is equity, there can't be equality. Look the life of termites, ants, bees, etc. Workers, soldiers, domestic workers, babysitters, messengers, queen, etc. This is nature. Equality is not a human value. It is an imposed syndrome, undermine the freedom to choose our life. By dissolving our ego, it kills our motivation. Definitely, it will create a vacuum and make way for a new class of inflated ego with unlimited political and economical power. Genetic, ex environment, etc are all beyond our control. Our brain consumes more energy than all the parts of our body combined. So, inequality is the outcome of nature. Please accept it. Basic needs. We live as a society and we can't exist independent of each other. It means Every individual must have access to basic amenities. This is the root of any harmonious society. Equal opportunities, equality and equity. Our life is determined by genetic and environmental factors on which we don't have any fault. It means equal opportunities and equality are just echo-oriented human traits. It will kill motivation and induce laziness. Equity is a universal accepted human value. It means income distribution should be based on the principle of equity. This will prevent exploitation. Productivity. Rat race should be stopped. Just remove the reasons behind it. Competition with collaboration should be the rule. Motivation of the employees is also important. Profit. But it should not be the priority in service-oriented institution. But it should be viable. This market-oriented economy based on supply and demand is based on the principle of equity. Bureaucracy should not exist, whatever the freedom of individual. When there is freedom, there is responsibility. Further, it is our nature. Capital. Why can't we a mixed capital-based economy includes private, government and public contribution? Capital formation and wealth distributions are the necessities of a harmonious life. Mixed capital-based economy can go a long way to create a prosperous, just and free society. 
Answer is within you.